This clip is brought to you by Mark Bell Slingshot. This gear is made for lifters by lifters. Enjoy this clip. I remember when I was lifting, there would be uh, people would talk about all kinds of different ways of lifting. Some people would squat three times a week. Some people would bench three times a week or deadlift three times a week, or some people would bench squat and deadlift on the same day. Mm -hmm. There's all these different uh, ways of lifting. And I remember, um, I remember Ed Cohn saying like, he felt like the people that were the most worried about it were the people that wanted to do it more than once a week. <laughs> and you know, he's the greatest of all time. You know, he deadlifted mm -hmm. 900 pounds at 220. And it's just a really good point of like, you can train it multiple times a week, but if you just put in a really hard, good effort, you can mm -hmm. also train it differently than that. Mm -hmm. And there's even been guys in powerlifting, powerlifting years and years ago, there was guys that would uh, do a heavy lift every other week. You know, so it's like, it's crazy. Like what you, even, even uh, Eric Lillibridge more recently, him and his dad and his brother, they all train that way. They would only uh, do a heavy squat or a heavy deadlift uh, every other week. And they did, did that for years on end. Mm -hmm. And so it, it's amazing like what your body can do and how your body can kind of adjust to certain uh, things. But in powerlifting specifically, lifters have been pretty in tune with the fact that lift doing stuff at 100% is not a great idea. Mm -hmm. And spending too much time in the gym is not a great idea. And for people to really make progress, they, they most often have to kind of be in that percentage range that you're talking about this guy being in, kind of that uh, somewhere between 75 and maybe almost 90%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's greasing the groove or whatever you want to call it to become pretty popular. And then I think when you go to execute it, at least I'm speaking for myself, it's pretty difficult. Like I, I'll go to the track to do a set of 200s knowing that my, my goal time by calculation is 36 seconds, which is, it's not that hard for me. I'm used to going 30, 31. And so I'll be like, I, I can't train that way anymore. It's too difficult, too stressful. I get sore after. So I'm going to slow down to 36 and I cross the line and it says 34. And I'm like, you know, <laughs> I have to work harder to, to be focused on the purpose of the workout. Hey guys, if you like this clip, go ahead and comment down below and let us know what you liked about it. All right, share this with a friend. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And also, we are on Reddit and Discord. All that's down below. All our sponsors and everyone that supports us, down below there too, so you can get whatever you like from us. All right, peace.